such a time as this. And welcome back to For Such a Time as This. As you can see, I am with Dr. Moses Kintu, and it is a pleasure again to speak to him. He is coming uh, to us live, not live, it's recorded, but he is currently residing in uh, Kenya. No, yeah, Kenya. Yes, yes. yes Kenya. Um, and so, as you know from our last previous recording, Dr. Kintu is a professor at a theological seminary there. And good to see you again, uh, Dr. Kintu. Yeah, thank you, Pastor James. <laughs> so, so, you know what? We actually had a conversation last time yeah. and off air it, and, and you wanted to, to discuss a topic that is shocking because it seems as though those things that happen in America happen in other places. And here's yes. a topic that, that Dr. Kintu is going to talk to uh, briefly. It is the problem of churches and their searches, their search for pastors without any theological training. So, Moses, if you could explain this phenomenon that's happening, not only in the States, but also in Africa. Yeah, thank you, Pastor James. Yeah. Uh, as I said before, um, off air, I was shocked the, the first time I encountered this trend. Mm. It was after church service, and a student who had graduated from um, another university here in Nairobi mm -hmm. approached me, and he told me he wanted to come to our seminary mm -hmm. and study leadership. Our seminary is also in a university called the International Leadership University. And so I said, why? And uh, this student told me, I want to come there because I've been told you people are very good at leadership. leadership. I want to be a pastor. Therefore, I want to learn about leadership. leadership. You see, being a pastor is about organizing people, you know, bring them in and uh, mm. keeping them there. And I'm looking, I'm thinking, what's going on here? <laughs> Wow. You want to be a pastor, but you want to study leadership. Leadership. That was the first encounter. Hmm. Then we were trying to review our curriculum for our pastoral programs. Mm -hmm. So I had meetings with some pastors in the city. And one pastor told me in the meeting, he himself went to seminary. He and did go I, to seminary, you say? He, he did. He has okay. seminary education. Theological training, okay. Yes. And I, he told me that, you see, all those courses were good, they were helpful, but what I'm doing right now, he has a very big church. He says, I, I'm doing mainly administration and leadership, so we need many more of those. And I'm say, so I say, okay, what do we take out? What is it? And uh, he did not say, uh, not many would say, but obviously somebody thinking about courses in the Bible, courses in, uh, in, in, in a doctrine, systematic theology. The other courses in missions, family life, and all those are so contextual, people feel the need for those. Mm -hmm. But scripture, doctrine, does not seem to, 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 to there seems to, 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 to be low need, low feel for, for, for that core aspect of pastoral training. Now, this is the last one. Mm. Uh, I was talking with a missionary friend. Yeah. He's a professor in the Bible College. They offer associate degrees. And he told me that he was talking to one of the leaders in the denomination that owns that Bible school. Mm -hmm. And they, that leader told this missionary friend that the pastors they want are pastors that have training in business and mm. administration, mm. not not just the theology. <laughs> so is it is it is it business and administration along with doctrine, or is it just that that I they want the business and administration? I think doctrine is okay if it could be added on. Added but what, on. What, what so we really doctrine want. and theology is an add-on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That that is so that is so sad because that's what's going on in America now. It's that yeah. that pastors don't have a firm 
theology. They don't have a firm understanding of scripture. And you know what? That's just okay. Uh, at least in America, and it seems like that trend is following yeah. uh, you guys in, in, in Africa. Let me ask you this. Why do you think that the churches no longer care about theology, that they, they want a business administration? They, that's what they're seeking. And if we can get yeah. some theology, oh, oh, well, but that's what we want. We want the business. Why do you think this trend, not only in America, but in Africa is taking place. I've not done any real study on the subject. It's something we need to investigate. Yeah. Uh, but what comes to mind, I think the models that people are looking up to, uh, new pastors, are people that are classified as successful, successful. Um, are pastors that operate much more like a business executives. Yes. Mega churches. Yes. Uh, with thousands and uh, these people are so the way they operate and uh, so that's one of the models uh, that people are trying to imitate yeah the other one sadly uh, in many churches around the city and I've, I've visited many and i also talked to the students in our seminary the trend is primarily uh, exposed, not exposed to the topical preaching. Ah, the so I summary, come up with a topic and then I'll cherry pick some, some yes, some, some yes, verses. yes, yes, and uh, it's topical and also primarily moralistic. Moralistic, so it's uh, sermons true. without the theological God of the Bible, yeah, yeah, you, you don't really need the theology too much because most of it, I think, is largely horizontal how to fix life this side of heaven yep. if that is true then you don't need so much yep. uh, bible of theology yep. yep i think those are the two uh primary factors yeah and you know what let's be honest not only do they want a business uh degree they want a yeah. business and marketing <laughs> degree yes. to yes. market whatever they're going to peddle and it's not a yeah. biblical uh a basis of what they do and and it it is it is the trend in America, and sad to say, it seems to be a trend also in Africa. You know, it, it just it's just it, it it does it blows it blows my mind. Mm. Are, are we living in the time in Second Timothy? They will no longer tolerate yes. sound teaching, mm. but want their ears tickled. And yeah. it seems like it's that way. I'll give you the last word, Dr. Kintu. And we'll... yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. my heart is heavy. My heart is heavy. Yeah, yeah. Last word, Dr. Kintu. Yeah, it's, it's a prayer item. Uh, what is that stake is uh, souls of people. The eternal destiny. Because when people are being fed on, 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 on just how to live life this side of heaven, yeah what we end up with is a man-centered religion. Uh, God is an afterthought, is an appendix. Um, teaching on salvation, on, 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 on eschatology, those ones just get on the side. So we, we needed to pray and we needed to support theology education. There's, yes. there, there are many yes. um, Bible schools, seminaries, that are still doing the right thing, uh, that have not caved in to give what the market wants, the market. And uh, there are churches that are doing the right thing in terms of uh, preaching the gospel, uh, teaching the Bible, but there is that threat. And uh, when you talk about Africa, recognize what God is doing, but there are also these issues that need our prayers and the support however we can do it. So for those of you who listen uh, and look at for such a time as this, we covered the prayers for Dr. Moses Kinzu and his family and Nairobi, Kenya, the one seminary, the one ministry that still sees, that still sees doctrine, what you believe, the truth of God, as he sent you into true worship. Thank you again, Dr. Kendu, and now we'll see you again as you continue to give us updates from other parts of the world, particular Africa. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thanks, Pastor James. Yep. God bless. Mm-hmm.
such a time as this 